Hey guys, James here and welcome back to my garage. If you're new here, this channel is all about sharing my lifelong love of cars with you guys. As you guys might know from watching my channel, I live in the state of California and one of the biggest complaints that I've heard in my time as a car guy in California is that California gas only goes up to 91 octane. It's like, why don't we get the good stuff? Why don't we get the 93 octane that is in so many states in the Midwest and the East Coast? So that's what we'll talk about today. Why premium gas in California tops out at 91 octane instead of something higher. But first, let's talk about what octane does and why it matters. Now in pop culture, we often hear about high octane fuels as if it's some kind of dangerous thing. But in fact, octane is a stabilizing agent. If you remember from high school chemistry class, you'll remember that octane is actually a relatively large hydrocarbon chain. And what that means is that it's actually more stable than many of the other compounds that's found in gasoline. Because of its stability, octane actually prevents gasoline from igniting too early in the engine as the air fuel mixture is being compressed when the piston is coming up. This is especially important for high performance engines with high compression or you know turbochargers because those kinds of engines are prone to higher temperatures inside the cylinders and therefore they need the octane to keep things nice and stabilized so that the gasoline doesn't ignite too early and cause major engine issues. In case you haven't noticed, European engines often require higher octane fuels because over there, engines are actually taxed on displacement. And so those engines are optimized to produce a lot of power. They're higher revving. They often have turbochargers. They have higher compression to, to squeeze out more power based on a certain amount of displacement, as opposed to in America, where we have all the displacement in the world. We really don't care. And, and so we don't need the high compression, the high temperatures. We're more likely to have large, like 6.2 liter Chevy engines. Whereas over in Europe, they need the smaller engines and that's why they often need higher octane fuel to keep things nice and stable. As of today, 27 out of the 50 United States have 93 octane premium gas. California has 91. And the only state that is lower than that is Alaska, which has 90 octane premium gas. For a state that is obsessed with cars, having 91 premium is really kind of, it really kind of stinks. Uh, but let's talk about why that's the case and why on balance it might actually be a good thing after all. Let's rewind the clock 20 years back to 2001 when California switched from 92 octane to 91. And to understand why that happened, we have to rewind a couple more years to December 1999. In December 1999, Governor Gray Davis of California banned the use of MTBE, or methyl tertiary butyl ether. MTBE was a cheap and easy way of adding octane and oxygenation to gasoline, and it was kind of used all over the country. But we discovered after a few years of using it that, well, it leaks into groundwater and surprise, it causes cancer. So California said no more MTBE by January 2003. Now ethanol could be used in place of MTBE to increase the octane of gasoline, but ethanol is a less effective octane booster compared to MTBE. 20 years ago, just like today, California was full of German and Japanese cars that love premium gas. And the concern was that if we're trying to make 92 octane gas in this less efficient process with ethanol, there just might not be enough premium to satisfy demand. And so in 2001, the gas producers decided, you know what, we're gonna limit things to 91 octane because that's kind of the minimum that these imported cars need. And that way we ensure that there's enough supply of premium gas to go around, even if that gas is slightly less premium than before. But adding ethanol is not the only way to make gasoline that has high octane ratings and otherwise satisfies federal and state requirements. There's an alternative formulation process that was patented in 1994 by a company called Unical. Now here's the thing, the Unical process only covers 92 octane gas, not 91. So this was another reason that the refineries went to 91. They decided, you know what, we could make 92 <laughs> octane gas using this Unocal method without ethanol, uh, but you know, then we'd have to pay licensing fees to Unocal. Let's just change things to 91 and we'll use ethanol, it's cheaper, and you know, drivers will just have to deal with it. So let's recap this story. In December 1999, the governor of California 
put into place a ban on MTBE, which is a cheap and easy way to increase the octane and oxygenation of gasoline for cleaner burning. And that ban was gonna go into effect in January 2003. So in 2001, the gasoline producers in the state of California had a choice to make. They could either use the Unocal process, which would have required licensing fees to Unocal, or they could switch from 92 octane down to 91 octane and find the cheapest way to make the premium gasoline at that point, which turned out to be using ethanol. And that's what they chose. And to this day, most gasoline in California contains up to about 10% ethanol, and that is a carryover from what happened about 20 years ago. Now, being in the car community in California, it's really easy to just sit here and complain that because we only have 91 octane in the state, our high-end German cars or Japanese cars are actually not producing the full power that they otherwise would. But aside from being a car guy, I also consider myself to be just a citizen or just a regular person who lives on this planet. And if you grew up in the 70s, 80s, or 90s like I did, you'll remember that LA, Los Angeles, used to just choke with smog, and now it's totally different. It's still kind of smoggy, but it's just way better. And that is largely thanks to the environmental regulations that the state of California has pushed forward. So every time you drink a glass of water in California and don't get cancer from it, or you step outside in LA and see that there's actually blue sky, you can thank the California environmental regulations. As annoying as they are, I think they're really worth it. If you guys liked this video or learned something new, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button because I have all kinds of great video ideas coming out in the coming weeks and you don't wanna miss any of it. Thank you guys so much again for joining me until the end of today's video. Again, my name is James and I will see you in the next one.